Welcome Scorpio. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now and we'll be using the Avalon Magic cards and also the Wild Child Oracle cards and this deck of cards that um, I don't know the name of. I was given them years ago and it had a guidebook and I don't have the guidebook and I don't remember the name of them. So yeah, these cards. Um, Scorpio, if these um, messages do not resonate with you, please go and check out your um, other placements in your birth chart. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, three cards for Scorpio, please. Three cards for Scorpio. Two, one more card. There we go, that's it. Okay, so Scorpio, this one was out first. Now, there's pictures at the front and writing at the back. Okay, so I'll read you the writing at the back, but I like to see what I get from the pictures at the front first. And they don't often uh, coincide with what's written on the back, which is great because then we get more messages for you. Okay, so, wow, there's definitely some sort of purity jumping out here. Look at this crow here and how it's white. Wow, that's incredible. I love that. The shallons in front of the heart as well. <sighs> I feel like this is saying to listen to your heart, listen to the positive thoughts that are coming through, not the negative. Maybe really focus on those, but let's have a look at the back here. Let go of outcomes. You will be released from the burden you carry. Interesting. Okay. Let go of outcomes. So it's sort of like going with the flow, I guess, right? In a sense of, yeah, can you, I get two cards for this card for Scorpio, please? Don't have names on, well, oh man, I just about saved it before it went on the floor. Hang on a minute. That was so quick. Okay, so we've got vision here. Alrighty, I love this card. Always reminds me of a horse's eye for some reason. Um... Let go of outcomes. Why has vision popped up here? Okay, so it feels like um, when you let go of an outcome, you're going to be able to see things a lot clearer, okay? Rather than just sticking to one possibility, you'll open yourself up for... other outcomes to come in because it seems as though the outcome that you wish for may not be what is best for you. So let's get two cards for vision for Scorpio please. Two cards for vision for Scorpio and the thing is I suppose when you hold on to an outcome um, it puts pressure on you. It puts pressure on you to um, be a certain way, live a certain way, right? And um, this is why it's saying you will be released from the burden you carry. So maybe there is a burden that you don't actually need to carry. Sometimes, you know, we can make it more difficult for ourselves by expect having too high expectations on ourselves. And that's not to say that we shouldn't have expectations for ourselves. But if we're degrading ourselves and beating ourselves up and feeling depleted, um, then we need to really be looking at what is going on in our life and, and whether that is working for us or against us, okay? 
first off we've got the hanged man here so yeah this is your taking taking your time um and kind of like pausing to to see things from a different perspective and also to really um this this will this pause may allow you to see other directions that you could potentially go in okay um and see other outcomes rather than just being focused on the one okay because that's sort of like this narrow vision in a sense so you want to expand that for yourself Scorpio okay so one more card for vision for Scorpio please interesting one more card for Scorpio for vision just getting the right card here there it is <laughs> I love it when that happens it's on the floor so I have to pick it up okay we've got the two of pentacles here so this is you tossing between this or that which which um you know decision that needs to be made and trying to work out the best um option for yourself this is also about juggling um and i kind of feel like there's um there's sort of a need to put these options down because they've been focused on far too much I feel like that will open up your vision that will open up your your options or for you to see the options available to you the next card we have here is gentleness and this is about being gentle with yourself. Um, the thing is, Scorpio, that you can be incredibly hard on yourself and you will crush yourself for any little thing that doesn't go the way you expect it to. And maybe this is why you need to let go of the outcomes so that you can learn maybe to go with the flow a little bit more. Okay, um, the other thing I want to say about this for some of you, it's sort of like you're walking on, not eggshells, but walking on um, broken rocks. Um, yeah, that's interesting that that's come through and I'm not getting any more for that particular thing. Um, but yeah, definitely be gentle with yourself because I'm just seeing where these rocks are. Yeah, I feel like when you're not gentle with yourself, it um it's it halts your growth or it it sort of holds it back. Um so yeah, let's have a look at gentleness. Two cards for gentleness for Scorpio, please. Two cards for gentleness for Scorpio, please. There we go. Oh, we've got three here. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, okay. So it seems that there was something that you were trying to build and work towards, okay, and it could be that you have a vision in mind of what you would like to achieve in your life, whether that be in a romantic relationship or with um, anything in your life, it could be applying to anything, okay, and something hasn't worked out, there's something that hasn't worked out or it's not actually going the way you want it to. And so this here is talking about not holding on to what it is that hasn't worked out or, or things that haven't gone in the direction that you want them to, okay? Um, really looking at birthing something new, looking, because this is the thing with the Empress, okay? When things don't work out, she doesn't worry about focusing on those things. She will learn from them 
and go in another direction. Okay, she'll take the lessons that she needs from that um, circumstance and she will use that for her benefit. Okay, um, so if you are, you know, I mean, who doesn't want all their wishes to come true, right? Um, but I would say that focusing on the bad things that have happened is not going to help you arrive at this, okay? Um, and don't beat yourself up about it, okay? It's really important for you to be forgiving yourself for anything that you believe you didn't do correctly, any mistakes you believe that you might have made, okay? I, yeah, I really feel like with mistakes, um, you know, it's just a miss take and it's like just doing a retake you know so try not to um be so harsh on yourself because you are a Scorpio and you know our own worst enemy it can be ourselves right so please make sure that you are being kind to yourself and that will help you to get to what you want okay because that, that's not, the Empress isn't going to do that. She's not going to beat herself up over things. She's going to move forward and she's going to, it's sort of like surrendering, I suppose. Surrendering, surrendering to the opportunities um, that you have available to you. And when you're focused on one or maybe two outcomes, um, that, that um, voids any other possibilities, okay? So, the next card here is this. Go into a castle. Look at this. I love this. I think you set your visions really, really um, high. You have really high expectations for yourself. And like I said before, that's okay. But just make sure they are reachable. Um, and it's, it's kind of like, I suppose, this person here traveling to this castle it's like having to travel the path but Scorpio I feel like you expect to jump on the horse and then be there straight away but you have to take the journey and when you don't get there straight away it's like you actually take it out on yourself so yeah let's have a read of what it says honor your soul path and step into your authentic self. Let your intuition inform your pathway. I love that. Yes, let your intuition inform your pathway. What a beautiful way of putting that. It's not, and, and it kind of takes the pressure off you then. If you leave it up to your intuition, to inform the pathway, you're kind of like just trotting along, right? You're just riding the horse. The horse knows, the end result knows, and you're just going along for the ride type of thing. I love that. I really love that. Okay, so let's look into this further. Okay, so two cards for this card, for Scorpio, please. Honour your path, soul path, and let, sorry, honour your soul path and step into your authentic self. Let your intuition inform your pathway. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got this card here, which is your inner garden. Yeah, and I've talked about this with you heaps of times, Scorpio. What are you planting, right? And this is not what are you planting on the outside of yourself. First and foremost, what is going on within yourself, okay? Um, in order to let this happen, there is an element of surrendering that you will need to do, okay? Which if you are setting these high expectations on yourself and putting pressure on yourself, it's going to be very difficult to hear that um, intuition or to feel the intuition, okay? Um, so this is, I feel like your focus really, in order for this to happen, because this is, you know, this is something, like I say, that you just go along for the ride. Um, really focusing on what is going on in here. What the thoughts are the seeds that you plant for your life. Okay, so if this, those thoughts are negative and nasty, 
um, then that's what you're going to get in your life. The other thing I want to say about this is that whatever didn't work out here, right, may not have been part of your soul path. There's a different path, and like I say, you may have a vision of what that is, but in fact, it could be something completely different, okay? So be aware of that, all right? Let, let that flow of life, go, you know, take you. Yeah, be, be flexible with that. Okay, so two cards for Inner Garden for Scorpio, please. One. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, oh, this is what you can reach, this is what you will grow if you plant the, you know, the good stuff into your garden, this is exactly what you'll grow, you'll reach, you will reach the castle, yeah, I love that, love, love, love it, yes, you will travel, um, you know, this is moving away from the things that aren't going to get you to the Ten of Pentacles, right, that are going to grow weeds, and not a, a garden full of flowers or even fruit and veggies, you know, that is going to nurture and sustain you throughout your life. So this is a good time to really start practicing this. Um, and every time you have a negative thought about yourself, for example, if you think, I'm stupid, I'm stupid, you know, this is why this didn't work out, I'm so stupid, or I shouldn't have gone down that track with that person. I'm so stupid, right, for example. So what you do to change that pathway in the brain, every time you think I'm so stupid, you, you replace that with I am not stupid, I am not stupid, I am not stupid, okay? And because that is going to start to cancel out that negative thought okay and we really want to think about what it is that we're putting out into the universe what is our vibration what are we um, emitting out because whatever that is is going to come back to us okay opportunity yes <laughs> I love this taking this leap of faith looking at the opportunities seeing that there are other options okay you you have more than two options okay um, there is plenty of opportunities out there for you. It's just a matter of stepping back and um, letting your intuition inform your pathway. Yeah, that's why we have intuition, right? To guide us instead of letting this guide us because this isn't always um, truthful and it doesn't always serve us. Okay, so yes, there is a role for the mind, 100%. But in this case, it's not going to help you, okay? It's actually hindering you. Okay, so two cards for opportunity for Scorpio, please. On the floor, of course. <laughs> Is that just one card? Yes. One more card for opportunity for Scorpio. I just want one, please. Just one. There it is. Excellent. Eh? Let's pick this up. There was actually two cards on the floor. Perfectly like this. I couldn't even see that there was one behind it. That's okay. We'll use all three. Um, we've got the Seven of Pentacles come out first. So this is looking at, you know, whether you want to continue with something along the pathway that you have been on. Okay. Because um, there is a new beginning waiting for you. Okay, a new truth that you can step into. And um, yeah, it's, it's, I think, for you Scorpio, part of you doesn't want to give up on what it is that you've been working towards. Um, and that's okay. doesn't necessarily mean you have to, but what it means is that you change your, what your, you know, you change your thoughts about it okay because where are we this tree here has only got pentacles on it it's not um 
lush, it's not full of leaves, it's not full of life, it's just pentacles. So it seems like this is this vision, it's only this tunnel vision of like, I need to do this, maybe I need to do this for the money, I need to do it for the money. What about all the other aspects? Are you passionate about it? You know, is it something that you love to do? Is it serving the greater good? You know, is this actually your soul path? So there's all these things that you need to consider and probably a hundred more, right? But the thing is, what's not been grown is this garden here because the pentacles do lie in the garden, but this is all there is. So I want to say to make sure your focus is not just on one thing, whatever it is that you're working towards, okay? And again, the five of hearts have pop, popped out here. So try not to look at what isn't working or try, try not to dwell on that at least um, and to see that... Um, that there are other options available to you, okay? So that is just reiterating that message, which I like that that's come up. Okay, so the next card here, Scorpio, is this card. Full steam ahead. I feel like this is great. Reminds me of the cow jumped over the moon, but it's a horse and a dog. Lots of options here, I feel. Lots of options. But this is a bigger picture. Because there's a card with just this here. So from there down. But this is sort of looking at things from a higher perspective, maybe. Rising above things and seeing what your options are. Okay. Let's have a look. As light follows darkness, so day follows night be patient and wait for the night oh sorry for the right opportunity to create a new chapter in your life perfect yeah this is great i love that patience right something i think we all struggle with a little bit we want it and we want it now like come on and and this is exactly what i was saying about this you know wanting to be get on the horse and then be at the castle immediately and you know actually having to travel that road um you know it's it's practicing patience right so two cards for this card for Scorpio please as light follows darkness so day follows night be patient and wait for the right opportunity to create a new chapter in your life and and I feel like this is also a new truth for you, you know, cutting out all the things that don't serve you, um, especially in your thoughts, and um, yeah, allowing yourself to move forward, potentially in another direction, okay, we have a root here, this does not surprise me, this is coming out, especially with this here, okay, because um, these rocks are full, they're not all shattered and, and broken, okay, um, and the thing here is, Scorpio, that so far along your journey, it's been pretty tough. And um, there's there's been a lot that you've had to work through, work around. Um, there's a lot that you've had to endure. And I feel like these things have, it's been difficult for you to bloom to your full potential because you've had these things to deal with, okay? So what I want to say about that is this is where this being gentle comes in because why make it harder for yourself by being hard on yourself, okay? And, you know, it's a matter of having your back, becoming your own best friend because you're with yourself 24-7 every day of your life from the time you were born to the time that you transition, so be kind to yourself. Yeah? Okay, so let's have a look at this. Two cards for root for Scorpio, please. We've got one card here. Ten of Wands. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Wands here and the Prince of Hearts. And I feel like this is... Um, you know, about you learning to get help, okay, get help for what it is that you need, you don't have to do it on, all on your own, you don't have to carry the burden by yourself, 
okay, looking at different ways to do it, different ways to carry these wands. Okay, you could go two at a time, you could go and get someone to help you, um, you know, you can do things differently. Um, yeah, so, I and I think this is part of the self-love and the self-care, okay, because, um, and, and also with the Prince of Hearts here, what are you looking, you know, at um, what's in your cup, you know, sort of like getting an empty cup and going, what am I going to fill it with? Right, it's having it's like having an empty garden. What am I going to plant in there? And that's all about your mind emptying. It's sort of like emptying all of it out and starting again and going, okay, what's the first thing I want to plant? What's the first thought that I want to think? You know, in order to get to this, how would that happen? What do I need to cut out to get to this? Okay, and the stinking thinking is one of the first things that would be incredibly beneficial for you. Okay, and that will help you to come out of the fog. And um, it will definitely make things a lot clearer for you. So let's have a look further into this fog here. Two cards for fog, please, for Scorpio. Two cards for fog for Scorpio, please. That's like eight. Two cards for Scorpio for fog. There's one. The full. <laughs> new beginning. Leap of faith. New beginning and a leap of faith. But there's sort of like this reluctance to go forward. Um, and I really feel like this you know especially with the hanged man here taking your time to um you know like actually yeah sort of taking a moment i mean i don't mean like take forever um but but take some time to evaluate how it is you're looking at things what it is you're thinking okay so that you can move forward with confidence and not be um afraid of this leap of faith not be afraid of the new beginning that awaits you okay and the queen of swords here yeah see she knows how to use the sword she knows how to have this new beginning okay she knows how to communicate her needs um she knows how to communicate with herself okay in a loving and kind way so that she can achieve the transformation that needs to happen in her life Okay, and uh, this is exactly the same for you, Scorpio. Um, you know, and the Queen of Swords, Just, I just want to say with this, Scorpio, be mindful of your delivery of things because you are a Scorpio. And so I think that sometimes, you know, it may be a need to really filter um, what it is that is coming out of your mouth, okay, towards yourself and other people around you, okay, because what you need right now is you need assistance and you need help and you need love. You know, you need to take a gentle approach as opposed to a harsh one because the harsh one is not helping. Okay, so this is really important for you, but I love this. I absolutely love this. And I just want to leave you with let your intuition inform your pathway. Okay, Scorpio. Wonderful. Okay, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.